Hey guys, this is Shaz and welcome to the Ministry of Reviews. So today I will be testing this amazing projector from a company called Swanior. Now this company is famous for making great quality projectors. They have two flagship projectors. This one which we will be testing today is model RD881. This is a very affordable high definition projector. So first we will do the unboxing of this product to check out the contents of the box and then we will go and test the product to see the actual performance. All right, so let's do the unboxing of the projector. So it comes in a very, uh, it comes in a nice box. It's a white colored box. Uh, let's open it now. Okay, so we start from this side. Uh, we have a, a remote control. Then we have the power cable. And then finally we have the audio video cable. And then we have the projector itself. We also have the instructions manual. Okay, so let's come to the projector now. There you go. So it's quite uh, lightweight, I must say. Um, let's start from the top. We have uh, this panel here uh, to operate the projector. But we can also use the remote control to, to operate the projector. We've got this uh, dial here to focus the image. And we'll come to that when we actually test the product. Now let's go on the left side. Here we find all the connections. So first we have on the left side is the headphone jack, uh, audio video input. We have two USB ports and two HDMI ports as well. And then moving on to the back side, we have uh, this is the speaker, then we've got infrared, and then the power input. Now this is the front view. You have a cap on the lens. Let's take it off and then you can see the lens. Uh, it's very nice to protect the lens, which is very, very important. And then on this side, we have the filter. Here, and we should often clean the filter as well. This filter you'll find in almost all the projectors. There you go. And coming to the bottom, uh, we have the details of the projector. You can see it's LED projector, model RD881. Uh, then we have the stand to adjust the height of the projector when we are putting this on the table. So you can see. And then if you want to mount this on a bracket, then you just need to remove these rubber caps from these four ends and then you will find the connection the the area to connect the brackets here so so that's it uh, this is the projector this is all that comes in the box and now uh, we will switch this uh, on and then uh, show you the actual performance of this projector All right, friends, it's uh, time to test the projector itself. Uh, so I have connected the device and uh, I've switched off all the lights. Uh, the room is, is quite dark, but it's not completely dark. I've got two windows in the room and there's still 
little bit of light coming in the room but uh, I would say it's quite uh, dark to test the projector. So as you can see, this is the main uh, home page of the projector when you switch it on. Uh, this is now set at around 110 inches uh, and its distance is around 3.2, 3.25 meter between the wall and the projector. And this is the best I could do. I have a small room, so I can't go back and show you a full 150 inch, but this is, you know, around 110, between 110 to 120 inches of screen size. So let me quickly give you a quick tour of how uh, the layout is. So this is the, as I said, homepage. On extreme left, you see the movie uh, box. Now this, if you click on this, it will basically play movies that are connected through USB. Uh, as you know, there are two USB slots on the projector and two HDMI slots. So you can connect to two pen drives and uh, you can also connect two devices at the same time. Uh, what I would do for the test today, I have connected one USB and also connected um, two devices on HDMI. One is uh, my TV box and the other one is an Android box. So we will test both of them. Uh, on the screen extreme top right is the AV that's the audio video so if you plug that in it would play from this uh, option uh, bottom uh, middle is music so if you have music on your USBs it will play from this uh, option and then similarly photos and text files so this is how it looks like it's I must say it's quite bright uh, and uh, it's quite sharp the contrast is around three to four thousand to one uh, so it's quite clear. Uh, what I would do now is, you know, go through uh, different uh, functions and features of the projector to test, you know, how good this is. Now let's go to the settings uh, section to check out the different options available for us. So when we click on the settings option, we've got three main areas that we can change the picture, the sound and the device uh, settings. Let's go to the first one, which is the picture. Uh, under the picture, we've got different picture modes. There are around four preset, uh, in fact, three preset and one user defined. So the preset one is standard, uh, which is, uh, we click on that, you see contrast, brightness, color, tint, everything is at 50. We go back to uh, the picture mode, change it to dynamic, and we will see that the contrast, color, and brightness have increased. Go back, click on the mild one, you will see that the contrast, brightness and color have decreased. And then the last one is user defined where you can actually change uh, all these four options within the picture mode. And down is we've got focus. Now this is very interesting. Now this is very, very useful because what happens in a lot of the times is when you put your projector uh, on the table or mount it on the wall or the ceiling, uh, then the distance is set and then the size on the wall would also be, you know, set. You can't really change that. And that happens with most other projectors. But the good thing with this projector is that you can go to this option and increase or decrease the size of the screen without moving the projector. So let's test that out. Now focus is at 10. Let's make it, uh, let's make it 20. Let's make it at 20. What this would do is decrease the size of the screen. There you go. So the screen is much smaller without moving the projector. Now you can go and I think it goes maximum to 25. Yeah. So at 25, you would see the screen size is much smaller. Now let's go and check out the maximum. So let's go to zero, which would be the maximum. And now you can see the screen size is much bigger. And all this you can do without moving the projector. Now the second section within settings is the sound. Uh, and under the sound mode, you again have some preset. You've got standard, movie, music, and sports. So four preset modes and then one user defined. So if you click on the user defined, you can change these two options here. And then the last area of uh, within the settings is this. This is the device setting. So you can change the language, the aspect ratio, the projection mode. Now I've set des desktop 
front because I've put this on my table, but you can go and click on select any other mode uh, depending on where you've got the, the projector. And then you can reset the device and you know it will reset all the settings, upgrade the software whenever an upgrade is available. That's it with the, the settings box. Now let's play some music to test the power of the speaker, the inbuilt speaker which is around 6 watts. So let's go to music, uh, go into the, my USB and play the music. I will play it and I will increase the volume till max so we can check out the output as well. So as you can hear, the speaker is quite loud. You know, for indoors, you don't really need an external speaker. Uh, you can use the inbuilt speaker uh, for uh, watching movies, sports, anything at home or even at offices. But if you want to take it outdoors, then I would suggest connecting it with the external speakers. Let me connect first to my TV box and uh, check out the performance of live TV channel. So let's go to HDMI 1 um, and uh, so there you go, very nice, very bright, good clarity, uh, deep colors. The contrast on this projector is about around 3 to 4,000 to 1. So you know it picks up all the colors, the depth uh, quite nicely. Now let's see how the projector uh, projects a sports uh, video so let's go to my tv box and play some sports uh, so this is uh, very nice very clear colors and uh, it's very smooth there is no lagging uh, no buffering on on the the projection now let me move on to the android box that i have connected with hdmi 2 uh, and the reason is I would like to test the uh, YouTube uh, performance uh, on this projector as well. So let's go to HDMI 2. Okay. And let's play one of the YouTube videos. All right, very nice. Uh, you know, I think it depends on the type of scene and the, the light in the scene because uh, these were looking quite nice. But when it comes to uh, night images, dark pictures, uh, it's a little difficult to make out, uh, you know, some of the details of the picture. But overall, it's, it's very nice. You can see a light image uh, comes out really, really good picks up all the different colors, uh, the depth of the colors, the contrast, very nice. Now let's play a video file uh, from the USB. Let's go to the USB, click on the file. Now let's uh Let's project some photos from the USB and what we would do now is I have saved a few photos uh, that talks about the projector. So what we would do is put those on slideshow 
Uh, so we can check the quality of the photos at the same time, go through the different uh, features about the projector. So let's go to the photo, open my USB um, and start uh, the photo slideshow. So to give you an idea of how this projector works during the daytime, so I have two windows in my room and there's a lot of uh, sunlight in my room. I have switched off the, the lamps, but I can still see a lot of light in my room. And with all that light, this is how uh, clear the projection is. Uh, let me now play uh, one of the videos to show you um, how bright the video is and then what we would do is we will play the video at night when the room is pitch dark so you can see the difference also so let me go to YouTube and play this video Now it's uh, night time, uh, it's quite dark outside. I would say there's 90% uh, darkness in the room. There's still 10% light coming from the two windows I have in the room. Uh, but I think it's, it's uh, dark enough to test the videos because uh, this would be you know, the natural situation when I would be watching uh, videos on the projector. So let me play a video that will show you the difference uh, compared to the previous video that I shot during the daytime. Uh, so you can make out the difference yourself. One very important thing for any projector is the connection with the laptop. Now I will connect my laptop uh, with the projector to show you how it projects uh, my PowerPoint presentations or any other media file that I might want to play from my laptop. 
So I have connected the laptop. Now you can see this is a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, the really good thing is that you can actually easily read the small fonts, the text on top, uh, you know, all the different features within PowerPoint. They are easily readable. Um, now let's put this on slideshow to see if it projects properly. All right, so, you know, it is perfectly fine. We can move from slide to slide. Uh, there's no lag. It is very smooth. So, you know, everything works perfectly fine when, when connected with the laptop. So overall, uh, this is a great projector, I must say. Uh, it performs very well when we connect it with live TV, with YouTube, through a USB, play music or show photographs. And even when we connected that with the laptop, uh, it's, it performed really well. So all in all, I think it's a perfect uh, projector. And, uh, and especially at this price point, at around 120, 130 US dollar, this is amazing. This is definitely a must buy projector for, for everyone. If you like this device and you're interested to buy it, just go to the link that I have provided in the description of this video. It, that will take you directly to the website where you can purchase this device. That's it guys. If you have any questions about this device or any other device, just drop me a WhatsApp message. Uh, I've provided a direct WhatsApp message link in the description of this video. Finally, please do subscribe to the channel, like this video and share it with your friends. Thanks.